Welcome to the next exercise number 4.3. We will be using the substitutional method to solve the linear pair of equations. So let's see how we will do this one here. So if you are looking in this equation over here, right? See, you are able to see, uh, look at the denominator. You are having x minus 1 in this equation. Here also you have x minus 1 in this equation, isn't it? So similarly, if you look at the other side also, you are having y minus 2 and y minus 2 over there, right? So what I'll do is, uh, I'm assuming that, I'm assuming that 1 by x minus 1 equivalent to your a and also 1 by y minus 2 equal to your b, right? So now, these equations are reduced. And what I'll do is, I'll be substituting this in this equation. So that the equations are reduced to 5a plus b equal to your 2. Okay. Let me name this as equation number 1. And similarly, if you look at the second equation, this is your 6a minus 3 times of b equal to what? 1. You understood that, right? So the equations are reduced out to be like this. Now you need to remove the value of a and b over here and substitute it. Uh, so that we can remove the values of x and y. Okay. So let's see how we'll do this one here. Okay. What I will do is in equation number one, I am multiplying this with six. Okay. Similarly, in equation number two, I am doing the multiplication with five. Why I am doing equation one with six? If you look at this, it says beside a. And similarly, the first equation, if you see that you are having five beside a as the Coefficient of a something, right? So this equation can be reduced down to 30a plus 6 times of b equal to 12, isn't it? Now when I'm doing this into 5, the equation is reduced to 30a minus 15 times of b equals to what? 5. So this is clear. Now subtracting everything, 30a and 30a is removed out. Okay, right. So we need to do the subtraction here so that this a is equal. So when I'm doing the subtraction over here also, right? We need to be add up this to this is 21 b equals to. Now I'm doing this one also subtraction. This subtraction is result as 7. Hope this is clear. So when I'm shifting this number to the other side, we are left with b equals to 7 by 21. So if I solve this, I'll get the answer 3, 1 by 3 because 7 plus the 7 is all right. So B equals to how much? 1 by 3. Now, over here, substituting B value, substituting B value in equation number 1, then what do we get? 5A plus 1 by 3 is equal to how much? 2. Now, solving this is your 10A plus 1 equal to 6. I have shifted the denominator, uh, the denominator of the size, right? So, I'm shifting this. And to the other side so that this becomes 10a equals to 6 minus 1 right so the next step we would be getting this as n a equals to how much 5 isn't it so at last a equals to how much 5 by 10 so i can write a equals to 1 by 2 as your required answer hope this is clear to everyone right so now substituting the values of a for to get x and y so 1 by x is written as how much to look at this one, 1 by x is written as 1 by, 1 by x minus 1 is equal to a. a value is how much? 1 by 2. Now, cross multiplying this, this is equal to what? This is your resultant. So, I'm shifting the one to the other side so that this becomes plus 1. So, x is equal to what? 3 is your required answer of x. Okay. Similarly, solving for the value of b as well. y minus 2 equals to b value is how much? It is 1 by 3. Cross multiplying these two, x minus 2 equals to 3, and shifting this one to the other side. So y equals to 3 minus 2. So the overall answer of y is how much? 1. So therefore, the required solution is what? x is equals to 3 and y equal to 1 is your required answer. Hope this is clear to everyone, right? So let's look at the next sum. Okay, if you are looking at this sum here, look at this equation number 1. This equation number one can be written as, I'm writing this over here, x by xy plus y by xy is equal to how much 2, right? So this y, this y is removed, this x and this x is removed. 
So we are left off with what? 1 by y plus 1 by x is equal to how much? Francis proof, right? So this equation is reduced out last like this, right? So let me take this as equation number 1. And similarly, if you look at this equation, I am solving this one over here, see? x by x y minus y by x y is equal to what? 6. Now solving this one also, the result is what? 1 by y minus Hence, 1 by x is equal to how much? 6 is your answer, right? So, is, so, so the equations are reduced out as like this, right? So, let me assume something here again. So, 1 by x is available in both the equations. So, let it be A. And similarly, 1 by y is available in both the equations. Let it be B. Okay. Now, solving this equation, so I'm substituting the values of A and B. The first equation it reduces out to be a plus b equals to 2, isn't it? It's your equation number 3. Similarly, the second equation is reduced as how it is this equation is reduced as minus a plus b is equal to what? Equals to your 6, isn't it? So let it be equation number 4. Now solving these equations and just a piece of fraction, the subtraction, subtraction becomes what? So eventually this should be added out of what? If you do this subtraction, a is added out. So we will do addition. So this a is removed out. So to be written as 8, right? So b can be written as 8 by 2, that is b equals how much 4 as your answer, right? Now I'm substituting b value in equation number 3, then what I would get that is a plus 4 equal to your 2, isn't it? I'm shifting this one to the other side, that is a equals to 2 minus 4. a equals how much minus 2 as your answer, right? So the answer of A we have received, answer of B also received. Now substituting them in the respective places, that is 1 by X is equal to A is how much? Minus 2. A is how much? Minus 2. Then what would be the value of X? This is the inverse of that one. X is equal to 1 by minus 1 by 2, right? Now similarly, 1 by Y is equal to your B value is how much? 4. So what would be the value of Y? It is simply 1 by 4. Hope it is clear, right? So these are the answers of X and Y, which are your required solutions. Hope it is clear to everyone. Let's see. Uh, let, let me assume something that let 1 by root X is equal to your A value and 1 by root Y equals to B here. Okay. So the equations can be rewritten as, see how do I rewrite these equations now? This equation can be written as 2 times of A plus 3 times of B equal to 2. Let it be equation number 1. And this is 4 times of A minus 9 times of B equal to what? Minus 1. So let it name it as equation number 2, right? So what I'll do, we, uh, do here is equation 1, I'm multiplying this with a uh, simple term that is your two here, right? So that the equation one becomes 4a plus 6b equal to what? 4. Similarly, whatever is left out, that's your second equation. I'm rewriting it as it is, okay? Now I'm doing a subtraction. A term is removed out directly. Now subtraction of this one comes out to be as addition. So this is your addition and this is your value become 5, right? Now I can write b equals to 5 by 15. Now I'm dividing this, I will write it as 1 by 3. Okay, so b equals to what? 1 by 3. Okay, now uh, let me sim substitute the value of b. I'm writing it over here. Substituting the value of b in equation number 1, then what do we get? We get 2a plus 3 times of 1 by 3 is equal to 2, you are number 2. 3, 3 is removed out, so we are left out with 2a plus 1 equals to your 2 here, right? Now shifting this one to the other side, 2a equals to 2 minus 1, so that a equals to what? 1 by 2 is your answer. So let us substitute these values as per requirement, right? So 1 by root x was assumed as a, that is 1 by 2, right? So I can write here as x, root x is equal to 2, x is equal to what? So the, and I'm shifting the root to the other side. This is your square. Okay, so this is your 4. So x is equal to what? 4. See, how did I have this equation? Just cross multiply these two. Okay, 
Similarly, let us remove the value of y. 1 by root y equals to b value is 1 by 3 cross multiplying these two here. 3 is equals to root y. I am shifting this root to the other side. This becomes 3 square. So y. So y equals to what 9. So the required solution that is the content which the values which we require is x is equal to 4 comma 9 is your required answer. Hope it is clear to everyone. Let's go to the next one. So what I'll do here is you know you are looking here the x, y, this thing, right? I'm shifting this one to the other side. So when I'm shifting that one to the other side, this equation comes out to be x, y plus 3y by xy equivalent to your 6, right? So y, y is removed out, xx is removed out. Now, at last, this equation is 6 by y plus 3 by x is equivalent to your 6, okay? Now, similarly, I'm doing the same thing for the next equation also. I'm just shifting the xy terms to a denominator. This is removed, y, y is removed out, xx is removed. So at last I have left with 2 by y plus 4 by x equal to what 5 as your equal to what 5 as your required equations, right? So so let us assume something here. What I'll do here is I'll assume that 1 by x is equivalent to your a value, 1 by y equal to b value. Okay. So the first equation comes us to be. 6b plus 3a equal to 6. So let me name it as equation number 1. And the other equation uh, becomes 2b plus 4 times of a equals to what 5. So this is your equation number 2. Okay. So we need to remove the values of a and b again and again substitute them. Okay. Isn't it simple? So what I will do here is I am doing equation 1 into uh not equation one right we need to do equation two into equation one only uh i think we should be doing the equation one into if we are having this equation here right what i'll do is in equation number one i'll do with this one with four and the similarly equation two i'm doing this one with three i have done that you can see over here okay when equation 1 is multiplied by 4, the resultant is 24b plus 2LA equal to 24, okay? And when I do the equation 2 with uh, 3, right, the resultant is 6b plus 2LA equal to 50. Hope this is clear. Now, I'm just subtracting this thing here. So, when I'm subtracting this, what is left out? 18b is left out. Now, subtracting this is removed out as it is. Now, subtracting of this one is your 9, right? So, I can write now what can be written here. 18 be equal to your 9. I'm shifting this number to the other side. So, that 9 by 18 is the result. At last, I can write what 1 by 2 as your answer of B here, right? So, 1 by 2 is your answer of B. So, substituting, so let me write here, substituting B value in equation number 1, then, 6 into 1 by 2 plus 3 times of a equals to 6. We are having equation 1 over here. Okay. So this cancels out 3 times. 3 plus 3a equal to 6. I'm shifting this one to the other side. So we'll get 3a equals to 6 minus 3. 3a equal to 3. So at last a equals to what 1. So we have the value of a equals to 1 and b equals to 1 by 2. Right. So let us substitute them to get the values of this one. Look over here, 1 by x equivalent to what 1. So that now when I'm cross multiplying x equal to what 1 only, I'm substituting the value of b over here, 1 by y equivalent to what 1 by 2. Do the uh, cross multiplication here so that we'll get the answer of y has to be 2. So therefore, the required solution of x comma y that is is 1 comma who is your required answer now let us look at the next sum over here see if i look at this i'm assuming that that 1 by x plus y is equal to your a similarly 1 by x minus y equals to b then this equation reduces to 5a minus 2b equal to what minus 1 i'm naming this as equation number one right similarly this equation comes out to be 15a plus 7b equal to what number and this is your equation number two here, right? Hope this is clear to everyone. 
okay now in the next step uh, what i'm going to do here is for equation one i'm going to do it multiply with three and i leave the equation number two as it is okay so let us do this equation into three this is your 15a minus 6b equal to what minus of three and this is your equation number two i'm writing it as it is without any changes right so now subtracting this one out a is removed directly so when i'm subtracting this one over here the resultant comes out to be minus 13b equivalent to minus your 13 as i'm subtracting this one right so the value of b is what only one right how do i have that it is minus b equals to minus 13 by 13 so that minus b equals to what minus 1 negative negative is removed out and we are left out with only b equals to 1 now i'm substituting the value of b in equation number one then we'll get 5a minus 2 times of 1 is equal to 2 minus 1 this is what 5a minus 2 equals to what minus 1 i'm shifting this one to the other side then we are having 5a equals to what minus 1 plus 2 isn't it then 5a equals to 1 so at last i'll get the answer as a equals let me name this as equation number 3 and similarly when i substitute the value of x b also what do i get when i substitute the value of b i'll get 1 that is x minus y equals to 1 this is your equation number 4 so let us solve equation 1 and 4 this is your equation number uh, i'm sorry let us solve equation uh, let us solve equation 1 and uh, uh, not one and uh, uh, let us solve the equation three and four equation three is this one and equation four is this one here right so what i'll do is i'll just subtract so that y is removed out 2x is equals to six now x is equals to how much i'll get x is equals to three right mm -hmm. now substituting x value in equation three to get the value of y so three plus y equals to what five i'm substituting I'm sending this number to the other side so that y equal to what 2. So the required answer are x is equal to 3 and x is equal to what 2 are the required answers, right? So let's uh, look at the next bit over here. Uh, if you are looking at the next bit over here, this is uh, let me assume something that is let 1 by x is equal to your a and similarly 1 by y equal to what your b. So that this equation comes out to be something like this right something like this this is your equation number one similarly this equation is reduced in this or my hope this is clear this is your equation number two right so what so when i do equation this into five you'll get 10a plus 15b equals to 13 into this one gives me 65 approximately right exactly not approximately exactly now into two this comes out to be 10a minus a to b equals to what minus 4. Now I need to subtract this. When I subtract this, a value is removed out and subtracting this two, I'll get the value as 23b equal to now subtracting of this one gives me around 69. Right? So the value of b equals to 69 by 23. If you divide this, you will have the answer as b to be what 3. Okay. Now I'm substituting the value of b in your equation number one. Okay, so that I'll get here is two times of a plus three times into b value is three equals to thirteen. If you do this, you'll have nine. So this nine is equal to your thirteen. I'm shifting this number to the other side. Two a equals to thirteen minus nine, isn't it? Now I'll get two a equivalent to what? a value came out to be what a value came out to be here as 4 now shifting the a value to the other side a value is equal to who what do i get is this correct what we have written if we have written the value of a is what two over here okay the value of a is what two here the value of b we have uh obtained here substituting this one over here one by x is equal to what your value is so here 1 by y equal to what value of b is 3 now you require the value of x means i require i'll get like this now i'll get this one i'll get this one so the required value so x comma y is, is nothing but x is 1 by 2 and y is 1 by 3 hope everyone is clear with this one so let's look at the next one
follow each other following pairs okay reduce to this one as uh, i think we have done this method earlier okay let one by x plus y is equal to your a value and similarly one by x minus y equals to b now i'm substituting in this so that the equation is reduced out something like this this is your equation number one Similarly, I'm substituting in this equation. This equation is reduced out to be like this. This is your equation number two here, right? So what I'll do again, equation one, and I have equation number two, isn't it? With these two equations, I'm, what I'll do is I'll do equation one into three, and uh, this I can do with into two here, right? Good. So what happens when I do this into three? I'll get thirty a plus what this is your 6b equals to 12 hope it's clear similarly this is something like this hope it's clear to to remove the value of a when to remove the value of a by doing subtraction i did this operation here hope it's clear to everyone right so a is removed out now here we are having a 16b equals to minus of this one is equal to your 16 so b equals to what 16 by 16 so that the value of b is only one hope it's clear to everyone right now again what we need to do here is substituting the value of b in equation number one then i'll get a value that is 10 a 2 into 1 equals what 4 i'm shifting this one to the other side so that the number reduces out to be 4 minus 2 so 10 a equals to what 2 here i'm shifting this one to the other side then a equals to 2 by 10 that is a value came out to be 1 by 5 all right a value came out to be 1 by 5 so let me substitute all this in this so in this assumption equation here so that 1 by x plus y the value of a came out to be 1 by 5 when you're doing the cross multiplication you are left out with x plus y equal to what 5 this is your equation number three similarly i'm substituting the value of b also that is two or what the value of b one so when i do the cross multiplication i have left out with only one this is four now by solving equation number three and four what do we get x plus y equals to five similarly x minus y equals to what one i need to add this two here so that i'll get it 2x and this is removed this is your 6 so x you can be written as plus 3 right substituting x in equation number in equation number 4 now x minus yeah, yeah x value is 3 minus y equals to what 1 i'm shifting this one to the other side so that minus y equals to 1 minus 3 so that y equals to 2 at last your negative negative is removed also the values of x comma y is nothing but i can write directly that 3 comma here see how do i have this number minus y is equivalent to what minus two this side to this side is equal so that y equals two two is your required answer hope this is also clear to everyone so let's go to the next sum okay the next sum is quite tricky so what do we need to assume here what is you need to ignore here let's see this i'm assuming that let one by three x plus y equal to your a Similarly, I'm assuming that 1 by 3x minus y equals 2 b. Now, this equation can be reduced as how? As such as a plus b equal to 3 by 4. Hope it is clear to everyone, right? No doubt until now, right? Now, let me do this multiplication over here so that the equation is further reduced to 4a plus 4b equals to what? 3. This is your equation number 1. Right. Similarly, let us look at the next equation also. The other equation is your this equation. So this equation is series out to be 1 by 2, right? Half of what a. So I'll get a over here. B by 2 equals to what? 1 by 8. Isn't it? So let us do the cross multiplication here so that we can solve out this equation here. When I do the cross multiplication, I get 4a minus 4b is equivalent to what minus 1. This is your equation here hope it is clear to everyone right so let us solve the equations here so what i will do here is quite simple uh what do we need to do here is let us solve equations one and two 
So let me write the first equation. 4a plus 4b is equivalent to 3 is equal to 0. 4a minus 4b equals to what minus 1. As if you can look at this values here, if I do addition, but also a, t, a is added here, and we are left out with what a equals to 2, that is a equals to 2 by 8, that is a equals to what 1 by 4 is your answer. Hope it is clear to everyone, right? Now, substituting the value of a, substituting the value of a in equation number 1, then what do I get? I'll get 1 into 4 into 1 by 4 plus 4b is equal to what? 3, 4, 4 is numerator, so we are left out with 1 plus 4b equals to See, I'm shifting on this one to the other side. 4b equal to what? 3 minus 1. 4b equal to what? 2. b is equal to, I can write this as 1 by 2. Oh, this is clear, right? So let us write this assumption where we have assumed it out to be, right? So when I substitute the value of a, I'll get 1 by, I'm substituting it over here, okay? That uh, 3 times of x plus y is equal to what? 1 by 4. During the cross multiplication, this equation is reduced as to be 3x plus y equals to what? 4. This is your equation number 3. Similarly, I'm substituting the other value, that is, I'm substituting 1 by 3x minus y, that is, b value is what? 1 by 2. Cross multiplying of these two gives us the result that has like this. This is your equation number 4, right? So, directly adding them so that by yes, we move 6x, six, six, I can write it over here, that is equal to what 6. So, x is equal to what 1. Now, substituting the value of x in equation number 3, then what I'll get? 3 into 1 plus y equal to what 4. I'm shifting this one to the other side. So, y equals what? 4 minus 3. So, at last I can write y equals to what 1. So, the values of x comma y are nothing but 1 comma 1 is your required answer, right? Okay, let us read the next question here. Formulate the following problems as pair of linear equations and then you need to remove their solutions as too well. Okay, let's see how do I go with this. I'm writing on in string. That is, it is in moment. It is equal to your y, all right? Now, Speed of boat, speed of boat. Now I can write speed of boat in upstream. It is again as the movement of water. Hence I should write x minus y. Now speed of boat in downstream, right? This is along with this water. Hence I need to add it up. Hope this is Hey to everyone, as he is asking us to remove this speed as your stream is taken as x minus y plus 44 is the distance travel in downstream, isn't it? You need to add it up. Is it question how many hours in n hours? Hope oh, this is clear to everyone. In the next sentence, it is a given as in 13 hours. The speed in upstream, that is again as the stream is x minus y plus. Similarly, the downstream is adding this to a is equal to y. So these are your required equations. Okay. So what I'll do here is I will assume this one again that 1 by x minus y equals to a and 1 by x plus y equal to your b value. Then this equation is reduced out. That is, the equation is reduced to 30 times e of a plus 44 times of b equals to your equation. M, right? So that's your equation number 1. Here, 40a plus 55b, all this equation, equation 1 and similarly equation number 2. Equation 1 I do here into 40, equation 2, uh, now into 40, let us do into 4 only. And this is into 3, right? When I do this one out, I'll get 120 times of A plus 176 times of B equals 40. Then I do this into 3, I'll get 120A plus 165 B equals to 39. Now I'm doing the subtraction. A value is similar. Subtraction of this one is what? 11 times of B equals to subtraction of this one is what? 1. So 
his answer is 1 by 11. Okay, now substituting the value of b, substituting value of b in equation number 1. Okay, so that what I'll get, that ta plus 44 of 1 by 11 equals to 10. This cancels out 4 times, I'm flipping this one here. So 30a equals to what 6 is your answer here, isn't it? So a equals to what 1 by 5. How do I have it? How do I have it? This is quite simple. a equals to 30 is equal to divide this. This is your required answer, right? So let us, uh, now we need to substitute in our assumptions here, okay, right? So let me do it over here. a value, right? That is 1 by x minus y equals to a came out to be 1 by 5. Now, doing the cross multiplication, this is one of the equation, equation number 3. Similarly, what was the other assumption? The other assumption was 1 plus y, right? It is your value of b, that is 1. So, when I do the cross multiplication here, plus, right? Yeah, plus, equals to 11. This is your equation number 4, right? Now, solving for equation 3 and equation number 4, what do I get? x minus y equals to 5 x plus y equals to 11 now adding up these two this is removed out you'll get two times of x is equals to 16 but last x is equals to what 8 is your required answer substituting value of x now substituting x in equation number 4 we're having 8 plus y equals to 11 now shifting this one to the other side y equals to what 3 so the required answer is this one itself all right 8 comma 3 is your answer now, the speed of boat in normal water, that is, x is how much? 3 kilometers per hour. And speed of water in stream is nothing but 8 kilometers per No, no. Uh, I think I did write wrong. Yeah. This is x value, right? x is 8 kilometers and this is 3 kilometers per hour. So, this is clear. There's no doubt in this one. I hope so, right? So let's move move into the next one. Okay, this is your traveling sum here, right? Okay. Rahim travels 600 meters to his home partly, he means half, okay, by train and the other by your car. He travels eight hours if he travels 120 kilometers by train and the rest by car and takes 20 minutes more if he travels 200 kilometers by train and the rest by car and the speed of the train and the car. Uh, hope it is clear. So let us assume something here. Let what speed of the car is given taken as x kilometers per hour, kilometers per hour. Similarly, let speed of train. Okay, let's speed off the train or else let me take this as y and let me take this as x. Okay. Right. So, by the problem, overall we need to take it here. See here, as you see already, we know that the distance is equal to time equals to distance by speed. Right. He is asking us to remove these two here. So, eventually, what do we will have? We will get overall distance itself right so let's see this one see he has traveled 120 kilometers by train so 120 by train plus the rush by the car has hope oh, this is clear to everyone right so if i divide this entire equation by 8 we'll get 15 by x in the numerator plus 60 by y equal to what one as the answer right so this is your equation number one i'm assuming it Similarly, if you look at the next data, he has traveled 200 kilometers by train over here, and the rest by car, that is 400 by y, is equal to in how many hours he traveled? It takes 20 minutes more, means like this only, isn't it? So now by solving all this one here, what do I get? Here, this is 0, 0 removed out, this is left out 1 by 3 times here, isn't it? This is left out what? 1 by 3 times only, this is left out, now this is what? 25 by 3. If you look at this, this comes out to be 25 by 3, if you solve this, and 200 by x, plus 400 by y, right? 
So we as we are having 25 table and dividing this one is 25, then this equation will be solved out to be 8 by x plus 16 by y is equal to 1 by 3. This is your equation number 2 here. Okay. So let us take the assumptions that is let 1 by x is equal to a, 1 by y is equal to b here. Then the equation 1 comes out to be what? The equation 1 comes out to be 200 a. Uh, okay, this is not equation 1, right? Yeah, the equation 1 comes out to be 15a plus 16b equals to what? 1. Right? Similarly, the equation number 2 reduces out to 80a plus 16b equals to what? 1 by 3. Hope this is clear to equations. So the equations are reduced out. Something like this, right? Equations are reduced out. Uh, let me take this number to the inside so that this equation comes out to be 24 yeah, times of a plus 40 times of b equal to 1. Right? So this is how the equations are reduced out. Right? So let me name these equations as 3 and let me name this equation as 4. Okay. Now what I'll do is equation 3, I need to take and I need to solve equation 4. Right? So equation 3, what I'll do? Equation 3, I'll do this into 4. Equation 4, I'll do this into 5, right? So when I do this into 4, the equation comes out to be what? 60 times of A plus 240 times of B equals to 4. So you're just supposed to look into this equation here, right? And the next equation is here, this equation. So just solving this equation is 100 A plus 240 B equal to what? 5, right? So just subtracting this one, this b is removed out. Now subtracting of this comes out to be a minus 60a plus what minus 1. Now uh, what is that? A value is nothing but 1 by 60. Hope oh, you understood this. How do you have the value of a, right? Now substituting the value of a for your value of b. Now substituting a in your equation number, in any of the equations, so substitute it out directly. So I'm substituting it in equation 3, easy. So 15a plus, what is that? 60 into 1 by 60, 1 by 60 is equal to 1. 60, 60 is removed out, no? 15a equal to what can be taken out? 15a, you need to take out something out of it, right? Uh, okay, I substituted in b value, oh, it, uh, that's my mistake. So this is wrong here, this is wrong here. Yeah. So let me write it again. 15 of well, uh, a value is 1 by 60, right? Yeah, 1 by 60. Right? 60 b equal to what? 1, right? So this divides out how many times? This divides out 1 time. This is about 4 times. Now sitting on the other side. 60 b equal to 1 minus 1 by 4, 1 by 4. 60 minus 1 by 4. If you're solving this b equals, you'll get what? 3 by 4. Now shifting this one here into 60. Now at last, if we solve this, three ones are goes, this one goes out one times, then we'll get b equal to one by a t. This cancel one time, this goes out three times, right? So at last, what do we have here? We need to remove the value of a and b, right? So what it is here is the value of x. We have taken that one by x is equal to a. So 1 by x is equal to 1 by 60, then the value of x is equal to 60. This is your speed of your train. Similarly, 1 by y is y is the speed of your y is the speed of your car here. So y is your speed of the car. That is uh, so we need to take the value of b. Value of b is 1 by 80, that is y equal to what 80. So this is clear, right? And uh, there is no more doubt about this, right? Good. So let's look at the next one. This is your third bit. Let's see the third bit. What is happening here? What is not happening here? Right. Okay. This is your sum here. Two women, two women and five men can together finish an embroidery work in four days, while three women and six men can finish it in three days. Find the time taken by one woman alone and one man alone to finish the work. Okay, let me take assumption that is here. That is, let the time taken by, let the time taken by 
one woman to complete the work in X days. Okay, she will be doing it in X days. But similarly, let the time taken by one man to complete the work in Y number of days, right? Hope this is clear to everyone, right? So let us remove the work done also. Work done by by one woman by one woman in the number of days is one by x. Work done by one man is one by y. So this is clear and there's no doubt about it, right? This is your assumption thing, right? So this is your required assumption thing here. Okay. So if you look at this, we will be looking at the unit work days method here. That is four days it has been taken. Okay, four days by two women, two women plus five men, right? Should complete the total work that is equal to one. Similarly, in the other scenario, we have taken three days for what? For what? For six men, and the number of women are how many? Three women. Hope oh, this is clear, right? So this is the equation. How we'll get through that, and the equation what we obtain is x plus two by five by y. I'm sure if that's four to the other equation. Similarly, three by x plus six by y equal to what? One by three as your equation. Okay. So these are your required equations. Now let me assume that 1 by x is equal to a and 1 by y is equal to your b value. Now I'm substituting in this equation 2 times of a plus 5 times of b equals to what? 1 by 4 is your required equation number 1. Let me take it as number 1. And I'm substituting this one also in the other equation that is 3 times of a plus 6 times of b equals to what? 1 by 3. This is your equation number 2 here, right? Hope it is clear. So let me rearrange these equations in an appropriate way so that I'm rearranging them. See how do I rearrange it? Okay, this is 20b equal to what? 1. I shifted this denominator into the other side. Similarly, the same thing to the other. That is 9a plus 18b equal to what? 1. Right? Right? Good. Hope it is clear to everyone. So what I will do here is this is your equation, right? Equation 1, right? Equation 1 into 9 I'm doing. Equation 2 into 8, I'm doing this two part here, right? So when I do that, this comes out to be 72a plus 180b is equivalent to what? 9. Similarly, this equation reduces out to 72a plus 144b equals to 8, right? So that is subtracting. This is removed out. So when I subtract from these two here, I think the first is left out. b equals to what? 1. Now the value of b came out to be 1 by 3. 6 at last right the value of b is 1 by 36 so i'm substituting the value of b in equation number one that is 8a that is your 8a plus 20 of 1 by 36 equals to what what oh it is clear to you everyone right right so this is cancelled out using a four table and i'll get something like this so this comes out not four this comes out, right I'm shifting this one to the other side. When I shift out to the other side, 8a equals to 1 minus 5 by 9, right? So when I solve this, I'll get 8a equals to 9 minus this comes out to be what? This comes out to be what? 4, 4, 4. Right? This comes out what? This comes out to be 4 by 9. 4 by 9, right? Now I'm shifting this 8 to the other side, so I'll get like this, right? So at last a value came out to be what 1 by 18. Hope it is clear to everyone. This is one of the four choices that you can do this multiplication in this is 1 by 18. So let us substitute them in the required equation. Now you need to remove the work done by one woman is how much? It is your a value. A value we have taken it as 1 by x. So 1 by x is equal to a. A is 1 by 18. So work done by one woman is 18. So if only one woman has the